Hey guys, uh, today we're talking about the front end of the K100. Um, obviously we have a lot of stuff that we need to get off this truck. The first piece that we're getting off is this uh, trim piece here around the grill. Um, this right here obviously has to come off if we want to get the grill off. This whole piece right here comes out. Um, this bar is another separate piece on top of this. Uh, so this whole thing has to come out right here. Um, we have to take the bumper off and I want to get these entire housings right here out of the truck today. Um, these are just totally dry rotted away. I don't know if you can see this all the way back there. I'm trying to get a good view on it. But uh, these are totally, totally dry rotted out and uh, all have to come out. So these still have the buckets in them with, uh, with the plugs, but uh, that one we've taken all the way out. Um, we didn't realize when we bought the truck how bad this was, as you can clearly tell. But uh, this whole thing just fell off. So we're gonna have to basically just replace the entire bucket, clean this up. And there doesn't seem to be any, um, Structural damage on this one right here uh, a couple holes in here, but I think we're just gonna have to replace the whole assembly So and that's okay. Not a big deal um, Same thing on this one. This one is a little bit better. There's a little hole right here But this whole thing's just gonna have to come out and, and be replaced, which is not a bad thing uh, We'll probably update it with something a little more modern. So it's not just an incandescent bulb So but yeah, we've got uh, this coming off today I'll get to work on this take this out and just start getting the front of this cleaned up uh, so we can get uh, the exterior all stripped down and eventually take the entire cab off and start doing our frame restoration as well. So I'm going to get to work on this. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Might put a time lapse in here or something like that. Um, but uh, we're going to get to work and see what we can do. So thanks. <music> Okay guys, <clears throat> we got the big camera out again. Um, this is kind of unstable, so I'm sorry, but um, we're working on the side of the truck right now. I have all of the bolts on the bumper, including this one right here that's stuck <laughs> with my socket there. Um, the, the bolts on the front of the bumper are giving me a really hard time. Obviously one of the biggest concerns that we have with this truck is the problem with just um, old bolts, old rust and stuff like that. And I'm trying not to shear anything off. Uh, but we have everything covered in WD-40 right now. Um, got the grill out. The surround or the trim piece that goes all the way around it is all good to go. But I need to drop the bumper before I can uh, get this grill up. Because the grill is going to come down. So um, we don't want to lift the whole cab up. And then uh, try to slip it out that way because it's just a pain in the ass. So let me zoom out here real quick. But uh, besides that, got the trim pieces off. I did shear off one bolt. Come on, focus there. Yeah, we sheared off one bolt right there on the grill. So I know that might be a problem here later on, um, but uh, we're trying to get some WD-40 on there and some penetrating oil, see if we can do some work there on that bumper. Coming around on this side, I'm working on Kenworth logos, as you can see, trying to get this off here. We had uh, one screw that came out pretty easily. I'll clean that up a little bit. And then we got another screw over here that's having a real hard time coming out. And then another one. So we're cleaning this side up. Um, like I said, I really don't care if there's oil all over this truck because it's gonna get repainted anyway, but we're slowly working through it. Lots of stuff to go. Doors are still intact. Ladders will come off here at some point, but we're just working away at it, uh, trying not to break any bolts. So we'll see what happens. Okay guys, uh, update. Uh, we had to get a new impact because our old impact died, but that's all right. Um, and we're still having a hard time. Let me swing this camera around. Still having a real hard time with these bolts. I'm getting them one at a time, uh, but we're hoping we're not gonna have to either cut them off or melt them out or something like that. We're gonna try not to do that. But uh, these things are stubborn as all get out. They do not wanna come out, don't even wanna spin. We put multiple coats of oil on them uh, and they've been sitting for probably two or three weeks with just oil on them getting in there and we put multiple coats on them. So if anybody has a really, really good tip for getting these old bolts out let me know i know i've heard a lot of different stuff uh, like the uh the krenz oil or whatever it is uh, a whole bunch of other different products that get stuff out pretty well but if you have any tips for these please let me know because uh, the old wd-40 while it's doing a good job i'm sure we could probably get these out easier somehow um, otherwise still working on that bumper getting that off kenworth logos are off getting these little trim pieces uh this one is finally spinning right here finally getting this one to spin Finally getting this one to go also. Um, besides that, just trying to take stuff off. Um, I'm gonna tackle these um, headlight lamps, the buckets here at some point. The weird thing about these is if you can see, they got a little weird 
screw there. And then they got some kind of different screw up top. It's kind of a weird way that they mounted these in here with a whole bunch of different fastenings. So it might be a trip to get out of here, but we will try. All right, guys, gonna take a quick break here from the cab over real quick, but this is our delivery truck, which is a 1973 C10 with a big block 454 in it, 10 and a half to one big block in here, built by s, &S Street Cars right down the road here in Lafayette, Indiana. One of my best friends and uh, one of the best engine builders that I know um, for old school stuff. So if you guys wanna check them out, s, s Street Cars, they build a lot of old muscle car stuff here, old hot rods here in Lafayette, Indiana in the Midwest. Um, so go check them out. Their website is ssstreetcars.com or uh, go check them out. Uh, I'm so sorry, my engine is dirty right now. We just use it as a pickup truck so and as a delivery truck, but uh, it's pretty nice when it's all shined up. Anyway, back to the cab over. Bolts are still giving me a lot of trouble. That's been my fight all day long, all morning long is these damn bolts right here. Excuse my French. Um, there you go. None of them out yet. More oil, a couple of them are loose. Uh, I think this one down here is loose, but we're just really gonna try to ease these out so we're not gonna destroy any of the frame bolts. So, headlights are coming out next. Headlight buckets are coming out next. I got oil around those. Uh, logos are off. Kenworth logos are off. Grill is free. I've got a couple bolts in there to keep it up so that it doesn't fall in the bumper, but it's gotta come all the way down. Gotta come down here, and that's why the bumper's gotta come off. And then uh, logos on this side also off these just fell off man these just came off rotted off so those are coming off this little piece right here has got to come off she is rough guys let me tell you she's rough for sure but um she runs and she's going to be beautiful here in a little while we just got to spend a lot of time getting her all loved up and uh, putting her straight so anyway that's pretty much it for the day let me turn this around that's pretty much it for the day guys i have to edit this video and get this on youtube here before three or maddie's going to kill me um but uh we're getting working on this. Uh, we missed a video here a couple weeks ago, but we're gonna keep uh, keep working on the cab over and get it done here. Actually, at least get it stripped. Um, I don't know when it'll be done, hopefully by 2021, but um, a lot more to go, and you will probably see another cab over video here in about two weeks. So a lot more progress on that by then. Um, anyway, have a great time. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.